Hello, welcome back. This is lecture 6.2 of our lecture series on basics of computer networking. If you haven't watched lecture 6.1, please check the link in the description box below. In this video, we will discuss about technology trends in the house, power line networking, and wireless broadband. Now, we will discuss technology trends in the home. Networking trends are not only affecting the way we communicate at work or in school, but also changing many aspects of our homes. The newest home trend include a smart home technology. A smart home technology integrates in everyday appliances, which can then connect with other devices to make the appliances more smart or automated. Example, as you can see in this picture, the phone, the car, the smart oven, the smart coffee maker are connected to the cloud and to the home. So, if you prepare a food and a place it in the smart oven for cooking prior to leaving the house for the day, you program your smart oven for the food you want it to cook. It would also be connected to your calendar of events so that it could determine what time you should be available to eat and adjust the start time and the length of cooking accordingly. It could even adjust cooking temperature based on the changes in your schedule. Additionally, a smartphone or tablet connection lets you connect to the oven directly to make any desired adjustments. When the food is ready, the oven sends an alert message to you or someone you specify that the food is done and warm. It's very interesting. So, a smart home technology is currently being developed for all rooms within a house. A smart home technology will become more common as home networking and high-speed internet technology expands. The smartphone is updated from the cloud with the status of the smart home devices. You can use the smartphone to interact with the smart appliances, a smart home, and your smart car. Next, we will discuss about power line networking. Power line networking for home networks uses existing electrical wiring to connect devices. Using a standard power line adapter, devices can be connected to the local area network wherever there is an electrical outlet. In this picture, we can connect the devices to the local area network here, here, or here. No data cables need to be installed and there is little to no additional electricity used. Using the same wiring that deliver electricity, power line networking sends information by sending data on certain frequencies. Power line networking is especially useful when wireless access points cannot reach all the devices in the home. Remember, power line networking is not a substitute for dedicated cabling in the data networks. However, it is an alternative when data network cables or wireless communications are not possible or not effective. In the next slide, we will discuss about wireless broadband. Another wireless solution for the home and small business is wireless broadband. As shown in the picture, the wireless broadband service uses the same cellular technology as a smartphone. An antenna is installed outside the house providing either wireless or wired connectivity for devices in the home. In many areas where cable and digital subscriber lines are not available, wireless may be used to connect to the internet. For this service, we need wireless internet service provider. 
the wireless internet service provider is a service provider that connects subscribers to a designated access point or hotspot using similar wireless technologies found in home wireless local area networks. The wireless internet service provider are more commonly found in rural environments where digital subscriber lines or cable services are not available. Also, a separate transmission tower may be installed for the antenna. Typically, the antenna is attached to an existing elevated structure, such as water tower or radio tower. A small dish or antenna is installed on the subscriber's roof in a range of the wireless internet service provider's transmitter. The subscriber's access unit is connected to the wired network inside the home. From the perspective of the home user, the setup is not much different from the digital subscriber line or cable service. The main difference is that the connection from the home to the internet service provider is wireless instead of a physical cable. In many areas, home wireless broadband is competing directly with digital subscriber lines and cable services. If you have any question, please use the comment section below. In the next lecture, we will discuss about network security. Thank you and see you there.